case. And so when you when you ask that person that question and you dismiss this conversation or you end this conversation, do you feel like, like for me, it's like, okay, that's done. And now I don't have to carry that with me into the next conversation or the next day or the next whatever. Is that part of your thinking in terms of that? Actually, it's a strategy. What happens when you get, how many times in your life have you had a salesperson say to you, um, Mr. Walker, you know, so glad you came here to ABC Cadillac. Uh, you know what? Uh, you don't have to buy this car today. Maybe you shouldn't buy that car. That that 1984 Hyundai is still running. Uh, listen, you have a good day, sir. It doesn't we're not going to do business today. What happens when you reject somebody? What happened? What be a little empathetic? What's going on in their mind when you reject them? Have they ever heard that before? Nope. Loss. Yeah. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. Yeah. They, yeah. The, the fear of loss now starts to kick in and it's like, well, you know, first of all, you know, what gives you the idea that I can't afford this thing and now pride kicks in and, you know, all sorts mm -hmm. of things start to happen. Listen, you've got nothing. If you're, you know, in your heart and soul after a while that you're not making any headway with that prospect. So the best thing you can do is what we call a guts move, a little shock and awe. <laughs> And you go to them and say, look, doesn't sound like, uh, you, listen, you don't have to say you're going, you want to think about it or you're going to get back to me. 99% of the time, I never hear from people again. And I don't want you to feel that kind of pressure, sir. I don't sell like that. But you came to me with a problem. You said that you needed to buy a home, sell a home, invest in a home. I'd like to help you solve that problem today, but it doesn't sound like we're making any headway. What do you need from me in order for us to make a commitment right now? What's missing, sir? Help me out, please. I mean, that's, an, that's, that's pretty honest dialogue, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it took me a long time to understand how, how does that person think? What's going through their mind? How do I regain control of the selling process? And if, I'm, if nothing is going to happen and they're giving me, I'll think about it, send me information, call me in two weeks. The best thing I can do is, ten, is fire them but then saw, but then re, then wait for their reaction and then repair it and get back to the truth. Mm -hmm. This these are this is million dollar selling people. This is good <laughs> stuff today. Yeah. I this is good stuff. Um so I hope I answered did that is that what you were looking for? I hope that was that was as honest an answer as I could give. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I you know, we're just basically trying to get what the mindset is, you know, where we want to go with it, how it's actually going to benefit us to be having this methodology at our disposal and how we can actually use this to not only our own benefit, but to their benefit at all. Because you're actually doing them a favor as well by letting them off the yeah. damn hook and look, you know, going about your business. I'm not here to, you know, to, to, to create a, a nest in your brain. I'm here to solve yeah, your problem. I love an honest dialogue with people and say, look, mm -hmm. if we're not going to do business, let's say it's over. If you can't say it, I'll say it. But the problem still remains. You want to buy a home, sell a home. You don't know how to finance the home. You want to do a rent to own. You want to do subject to. You get back to the core issue. And then you find out, well, you know, what's the real reason <laughs> we're not doing business today? Is it a money issue, a time issue? Did he already make a commitment to somebody else? We got to get to the truth eventually. But this lingering, this lingering type of selling, oh, call me later, do this or that. Does it ever really work? No. Does it ever really work? Before I go, um, Philip Montoya had a question for me. Is there enough time for him to ask that question? Still? Absolutely. Yeah. 